after winning on Saturday in dramatic fashion. Dolish Hammett looks to make it back to back wins this evening. They travel to Twerton Park to take on Bath City. Just a month ago, the Hamlet lost to these opponents by two goals to one. That dramatic late goal from Elliot Fryer at uh, Champion Hill condemning Paul Barnes's side. Two defeat. Since then, Hakan Hayretin has come in and won two of his first, first three games in charge. It's the first start since rejoining the club tonight for Christian Campbell in one of three changes. Krasnicki and Taylor also in. Blackman, Raymond and Fawale drop out. Bath come into this game off the back of uh, four games unbeaten, including a 3-2 win away at Worthing at the weekend. They make just one change. delivery which is dealt with I think it was Mills again who got the head on that back wide it comes second cross nice reach green slade who tried the acrobatic and a scuff shot in there as well from Batten and um, Morton and across to the number three green slade left centre back kind of the, yeah, playing the left of the uh, back three for Bath City tonight he's on the ball again from Batten Nice chance, Krasnicki enjoying the slide tackles on this uh, surface tonight. Holland kind of pass up to Porter. He's got Mills ahead of him and drags away a defender. And Porter will shoot. The shot takes a deflection. It's going to go back towards the goalkeeper and saves on his goal line. Since then, Nana scored late on against Tunbridge. Two goals in the second half at Braintree. A penalty against Bath just after half time. Vince scored the winner in the second half. Porter late consolation last Monday. And then the two goals in the last 10 minutes at the weekend. Here comes Cox down the left up against Taylor. That's a clever run on the outside though. Cross comes in and makes a head over the bar. Takes a second to score a goal, of course. Green today chesting that one down ahead of Ming. And it across to Dyer. Field on the outside of him. Into uh, Greenslade. Greenslade diagonal ball. It's a good looking ball as well. Walk down the edge of the box. So there's a chance for Bar City here. Oh, it's flashed wide. Hemmed in. For Harris on his goal line. Greenslade now. Taking a real risk and he's lost out to Ming. And, and then Taylor has uh, gone down. It's going to be a yellow card on the edge of the penalty area. Taylor is in a lot of pain here. It was a really, really heavy challenge on him. Jumping around his goal line. Ming scores. Harris went to his left. Ming went to his right. And Sanchez Ming has his second goal of the season. And Dulwich have the lead in this one. Calmly done by Ming. Usually so composed on the field. With uh, set pieces. And he has put his side ahead here. Very nicely done. So Harris went to his left, Ming went to his right and Dulwich lead. Still supported by Smith on the outside of him. Back it comes into defence for Dyer. Akan Hayret in turn to be on the edge of his box and kicking every ball from the touchline is the gap up. Batten taking his time on the ball here. Taking over the ball with lines. That's a poor uh, bit of communication. And Joe Felix being played here. Felix towards the edge of the box. Can he get a shot in now, Felix? He can, it's well charged down. And Felix gets the ball again. Into the box now with Phillips who shoots and it's saved by Harris and Joe Felix. Shades of going through at Dover there. Indeed, it is in the vicinity of Daniel Mills. But can't win that one, does he? And here come the Romans with Freer. Pass is blocked off by Taylor. Well, good position that from Quaid Taylor. Phillips taking a bit of a risk here and then Kosnicki's under pressure as a result and Bath have it back and they can. Have a chance into the box here. Cook has put it over. As uh, Granger does finally restart. Looks for Mills again. Mills flicks. Oh, so close to finding Porter. Well positioned there. Jack Batten. Hayfield on the right. It's passed down the line. It's blocked by Christian Campbell. And Campbell can now drive towards the area. 18 yards out. The uh, number 28. And his shot is saved low by Harris diving to his left. In possession again. There's a real chance in the penalty area. Hayfield will shoot. Saved low by Granger. Straight at him in truth. It comes. Set it on. 1-1. One, one. 
Bath have equalised. The corner came in, a header at the near post, flashes overhead of Granger. Well, Jordan Dyer, he's uh, got it. A tremendous header, he's got to go up and flick it up and over Granger into the far corner. And uh, Bath have equalised it. Made himself a nuisance, don't know if the touch came off him or the defender, but he was certainly in that vicinity as the ball then rolled to Porter. Come the Romans down the right again. Early cross. It's a good area. It's volleyed over. Four. Oh, that's a close one. Gavin knocked him down. I don't think Foyle has touched the ball since he's come on, unfortunately. Got the service as Bath come again. Wilson will leave it down this right hand side. Here's Hayfield. Early ball. Wilson's there. And it's 2 1 to Bath. And they've turned it around in the last few minutes. And Dulwich can't hold on. Scott Wilson, who scored at Champion Hill last month, has netted again late on here. I went back to 2-2 in that one. Oh, that looks long. Fawolo will try and bring it down. It's a poor touch from Batten. And Fawolo can break past him. Is that a foul? It is. He might be off it. He is going to be off yet. Second yellow for Jack Batten to protect his side's lead. Here's Christian Campbell on the left wing. With Cheadle on the halfway. Half every man behind the ball sitting deep. Cheadle tries to it's not very good. And that's a really bad sense of appearance. Which will interest Powell, who shrugs off his man, gets to the uh, left side of the penalty area, supported by Campbell, can send in the first time cross. Christian Campbell is brought down to Felix. Headed on. Oh, it's just wide. Phillips. Has put that just wide with his header, instinctive header from him. Corner coming up then for the hammer, just the second of the night, and it comes. Oh, it's a straight of the keeper as well. It was Jack Holland in there, and it's saved by Harris. We really are throwing the kitchen sink at this late on. Campbell, they want to make a change here, Bath, just eat up some time, Dulwich have got the ball down the left wing, Campbell sends it towards the far side of the area, it's nodded on, Phillips is there, oh what a save, what a save by Max Harris to deny Phillips, it was pure instinct from the goalkeeper, for Dylan Gavin, touch down the left hand side, Gavin low cross, blocked by a Roman leg, forward though by Taylor to Felix, for Wole, Josh Wole goes down looking for the penalty, the referee says no, and Bath have won this by two goals to one. They turn it around in the last ten minutes with the Jordan Dyer equalising the 81st minute and then a winner from Scott Wilson three minutes from time. Dyer through the kitchen sink in injury time but they could not find a way through to go with that opening goal from Sanchez Ming. It's uh, a defeat on the road tonight for Dulwich Hamlet. Final score at Twerton Park, Bath City 2, Dulwich Hamlet 1.